Hey, yeah, it's Sarah, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, guys, so we are continuing our Horizon Forbidden West adventure. We are continuing the main storyline. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am doing my playthrough uh, in separate episodes. Like, one episode is like just all side quests, and one episode are just all main quests. So for this episode, we're continuing our main quest. And last time, it was a massacre. Um, <laughs> a lot of people died, so I mean, the rebels are just kind of, you know, it's it's interesting. It's interesting because I feel like I feel like they're not the ultimate bad guys, and we're gonna Maybe find that more. out later on in the story. But you know, Sounds I'm just on. guessing. So, I guess let's try to find out by playing some more Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh, very good. Looks like the coordinates Silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? I mean, I wouldn't think it's. Oh, wow, look at the water! Oh, swimming! Let's check this out. I'm exploring the mid sea. This light over here. Let's check this. Out. Also, I know this isn't really the sea, but I mean, this just really reminds me of the Little Mermaid. Oh my goodness! This is this a house? All right, let's go up the water. It's a lot to explore down there. I wonder what I could find. I wonder if we can go inside the house. Too bad we can't, like, dart through these within frames, like in God of War. <laughs> Remember the OG God of War games? Kratos would just try to... not try. Kratos would smash. Through doors and the water. Anyway, I'll come back for that later. This is it. Location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away yeah, to. Yeah, I was about to say! But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess silence wants me to check it out. Aloy. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out <laughs> the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Orb of a Titan, on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin, anyway. Silence is the bad guy all along, my god. Or what if there's another bigger bad guy? I'd be. Yeah, I'd be. mind blowing. <laughs> What's 
this? <laughs> What's this? Some kind of log. Day one, despite my concerns about missing Pokemon, I was relatively simple to install a on tag processing orb. To initial attempts at deleting of the applications is in order, it's self aware so it can suffer. All it takes is to correct the new intensity. Day five, success. The iron is delicious. Various forms of data produces companies. This is, oh, yeah, of course, this is silence. For some Most reason, I was still thinking that this was the like like 21st century. Into forcing Hades to talk. You know, it's kind of weird, you know, silence torturing an AI is so bad. Silence is freaking hardcore, but he's freaking stubborn and he has the biggest ego. Okay, let's just upgrade a few things. Since there is a workbench, we might as well make the most out of it. I like how the thing becomes more colorful. See? Like it becomes more contrasted. As while you upgrade it. Oh, what's this? Uh, that's not that one. Hmm. Maybe this one. Perfect. My goodness. You can just upgrade it. <laughs> everything now. I love it. Ooh, look at the stars. I want to go camping just so I could see the stars go away from the city. Oh, your machine's there. Okay. I thought those were alive for a minute, for a second. Man, it's too long. Okay. Let's just get this. Okay. Fire can help here. Oh, the Glint Hop. Our most annoying friend from the first game. <laughs> Freaking hate Glint. Well, no, I kind of like them, but also not really. Let me just see if I could do a sneak. If I could send a kill at least one of them. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, wait, it's here. <laughs> My bad. That barely did anything. Get away, get away, get away. Mm -hmm. Explode. Nice. You got it. Don't get up, don't get up. Don't get up. Not me, bro. Oh, I miss my bad. Oh. 
going away. Don't retreat! Oh, man, I missed. Probably my favorite finisher move. <laughs> anyway, this is why I love playing on very hard mode. It's like even the boom minions are deadly. And it feels dangerous. Let's go. a good one. <laughs> I like that run. Sorry, Foxy. Ooh, that was overkill. My bad. Ooh. Merchant. Fireplace. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Oh there! What's Honora doing this far west? I should ask uh, no you matter, the same no thing. Matter. I can get you stocked up for the while. If you, need to. you, yes. Brass hunger ball. Oh, that looks cool. Let's get this. Leap Lasher. A Leap Lasher. Oh, what is that? A kangaroo? Look at its tail. That looks so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it has acid canister. Study it a bit. Okay. Storage. Oh, 
Hmm. Shock arrow. Okay. seen a kangaroo like that so <laughs> oh my goodness the other one. jumping around. Oh, Shoxi! Oh my gosh. Explode, explode. Nothing's working. <laughs> oh my god. She's stuck in the dive position. I think I found a new secret for Aloy, guys. It's not. Maybe I can get her in the body out of the
Well, that was interesting. <laughs> but you guys didn't see that in other playthroughs. That's so crazy, though. What the heck? Let me press one more. Got him. That was nice. Anyway, I don't know what's more annoying. Glint Hawks or Leaf Flashers? What do you guys think? <laughs> but I like them both, I guess. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And the door. Hi. I feel bad for Hades no looking at this. Or a zero dawn? Okay, Gaia back up. you where to find a backup of Gaia. Right, because that would have been easy. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated. And what did you tell him? Data error, memory structures disintegrate. 
You don't remember any of it? Hey, these kind of sounds good. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Where's Silence? Do you know where Silence went? Almost two weeks ago. Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Mm. Why did do you know here? why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, then, then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on data error, memory structures disintegrated. Oh man. Bunch of crazed AIs. Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? <laughs> detected. Hades, he's a little bit dark. What's Silence the Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal? The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. Then there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times. Hades extinguished. What? You remember this? Yes. Data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 254. So? Oh, that, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. What? Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. Dude, I kind of feel. Oh my gosh, I, I might be just overthinking this, but I feel like there's something more. Aloy, 
I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? What a D word. Well, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <sighs> okay. You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, mm -hmm. mounts. Mm-hmm. Eloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial. Why Silence. did he do that, though? Take it any way you want. Hey, Gaia backup. Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or well, were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Ooh. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said... So what are you waiting for? Can we trust Hades? Anyway, hi, Mysterious Signal. Did Hades reveal the source of the Mysterious Signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... Look, the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. Okay. Let's just go in now. <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to me. Everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Well, you know what? 
you can't blame Aloy. He kind of tricked her the first time. It was, it was yeah, your bad silence. <gasps> oh, it turned red. Let's do this. Oh, am I going through this? That's like a laser. Hmm. All right. Let's take a photo first. Because this. Oh, look at that. It is a laser. That's cool. Uh, I, I don't like how it gets. Um, Blurred out when you zoom in too much. What's this laser for? Hmm. Guess let's turn it on. Or open it, I mean. Not turn it on. Hold for identity scan. Oh! Entry authorized. Are you kidding me? I think we're in luck. And this luck? reminds me of the last the of us a bit. Messed up. The fun guy. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them fire gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. Oh, we've been seeing these It'll around only the world. Work with I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lash's power cell. Remove the oh. power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, now you have some deep water kindleweed. Nice! Need to get the parts. Okay, let's go. Ooh, look at the water. There's the power cell. Yeah, there we go. I can tag it in my focus display. That'll help. I'll have to detach it before the machine goes down. back around please turn your back around you okay wait it's not okay just make sure I have data from the cauldron if I can find one. Nice, we got it. Oh, yo, 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 
world. Oh, wow. You know, if you weren't trying to kill me, you're actually kind of cute. Heal, 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 heal. Stop jumping! Oh my goodness. Oh man, I broke it. Oh no, I just have to do it again. Sorry, Mr. Fox. Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Oh yeah, the workbench. You already saw it. It's right here. Wait, sorry, my bad. It's back here. <laughs> Should be able to use this to blow up that nice. fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. 
I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter. I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Let us explore. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. That's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. The Travis Tate. Okay, there were just a bunch of names. anything down there as well like if I could like dive into the water but I kind of don't want to risk it first what? well this is familiar making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup Caster might come in handy here. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the other end this time. Okay, I'm a little lost, you guys. Let's try going to the other end, maybe? Oh, here we go. This place is way too big! Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Be a good idea to drop that ladder. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Doors locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. Scan the device. Don't mind if I do. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power.
Okay, I need another battery. Oh, wait, let's get this. <laughs> Bless you, Cole. What's above me? That's my dog. Let me... Kind of scared it was gonna close on me. This inside. My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples. Well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. He sounds Slow different. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's gotta stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes it's you were noise. working on here didn't fly power. the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level 9 project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quickly clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No. Here will be just fine for Hades. Later, Teddy Bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Ted Ferro's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. Okay. I like Travis Ted's act scene. Looks like we need a battery over here, too. Fire gleam. Focus my careful. That's far away from that. Oh. Alrighty, I get it. Get this. How very convenient that the fire gleam was right here. <laughs> here, yep. Let's go down. Oh, there's two of them. Elizabeth. Done, gonna make you love me. I love to have a state. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars a little you, a little me to deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. Hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Oh. File complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. 
Here it comes, far Z nuts. Z nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mom was grave. Here she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Hmm. Another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. There was another slot for battery down there. Let's see what it does before I move forward. Maybe it's like another message. This console shut down. Okay, I think that was that. Did I do anything? Let's just put it back then, and then we'll go back up. Wait, was this the one that... Eh, oh, wait. Hmm. Let's keep exploring a bit for this. Oh. There's something purple down there as well. That's where we came from. I can't make that jump. But if I glide... Oh, yeah! We can glide. <laughs> Going gently. Well, here we go. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. Exploring the I should be able to glide over. Oh, there's a fire gleam. My bad. Oh, 
What's in here? There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Travis. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, oh. but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Okay, oh, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> My focus might see something. Okay, I take it back. Travis kind of scares me. <laughs> Trav here dug up some old fashioned project, got some more throw back before he to me. He says, Go, please, using some naughty bits and pieces. So, up and coming little devil, like, um, yeah. Kitty, oh, thoughts. Cut it maybe fun to see him hunt in the wild, give him a taste of the good life before it lights up, but nah. Oh! <gasps> Wait, no! Is Travis bad? Uh oh. Okay. From Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Looks like this is connected to the door. He needs a code to open. Okay, I don't know it. Seven, four, two. Okay, that's it. Seven. There we go. I know it. Okay, that patch. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Have you? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, let me use my... It's giving me a mini heart attack every time it does that. I feel like I'm Spider-Man, actually, whenever I do that. I want to go with the fire beam. Yeah, I didn't use my pull caster, that was my bad. Okay, We're here again. This time, don't fall, Aloy. Okay, so much for the flooded maze. I made it. This door works. Ready? Let's go. <sighs> I always think these doors look really cool. And they make cool photos. There we go. All right, let's do this. Dude, that's so freaking cool, though. Imagine living in a time that technology like this exists. That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let them back up. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. Uh -oh. At least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Hmm. I need to detach the cable from the arms coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm? Okay, okay. Let's see what it is. There we go. Just need to make some ammo. 
Nice. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Send the guy repository. Oh, I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Oh! Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Guy was a vast superintelligence. He barely expected it. without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. Uh. <sighs> I'm guessing it didn't work. Oh, never mind. You found the river, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. She's conscious. She helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. So smart. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Yes, well. About that. Alert. Intruders. Alert. Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need it. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. Who? <clears throat> what? Don't we Just need that? Me with that? Oh, we have an extra there. one. New focus, <laughs> spyware free. Okay. Bro, <laughs> it's like we need that. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. What? How can you open the door? No, wait. Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. world 
Bro! Is it, wait, is that the Summit Silvet? Or, or no, another clone. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Ooh. Shit. Spectres, beta. Ooh. Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm -hmm. It's Carrie Ann Love! That sounded bad. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the effect. Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. <gasps> what if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got her. So let's put it to use. I love her outfit. That looks so cool. Dude, oh my gosh, boss fight. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? Whoa! Dude... This is gonna be fun. Looking for me? Oh my goodness. This is nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. in it. Come at me. Ugh, gotta cut them 
remain stand. <laughs> Have all the fun. Was that me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Oh! Was worth the shot. <laughs> I tried to fast travel. Just, um... 
can see the that car just now. breathe in real life. This is so claustrophobic for me right now. I don't... <gasps> okay, where are we supposed to go? I better stay out of their sight. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, there's a current. Uh oh. Can they, can they just give up, please? I have Kratos strength when I need it. This water's going somewhere. Oh, here, it's a door. Let's go. Let's go. This water's going somewhere. To a way out. Oh, wait, here we go. Some kind of power room. Oh, Currents lead here. Promising. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, yes. Uh-oh. 
No. Got a bit hey, emotional easy. there, Hedras. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. <gasps> I was out for two days? Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? Oh, she's so pretty. She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Veral said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. How is she Her condition dying? is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? They've got the emotion in Zoe's eyes. I like it. <laughs> So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. I like 
like Ray. I want a Ray. I still need to talk. Of course. But this way. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> The mountains, west of Plainsong. There trouble out there? The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, oh, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You okay. said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. Wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're going to lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. What's the derangement? So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have Food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. You can't get over how pretty Zoe is. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Uh -huh. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me and so on. Don't rain me! Scattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these 
Land gods come and go. It's not like anything I've seen before. It's a grave singer. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. Mm -hmm. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. So. Without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. But I thought we fixed Ray up. Thanks for taking us okay. in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wild. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. <gasps> Do they like each other? Go, Varl. There is the cave. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. I'm fine. Bed rest. I got it. I'm so stubborn. <laughs> she does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Later then. So, wait. It, it's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It, it's just that I. Shh. <laughs> ah, okay. So that answers that. Is that what you were trying to say? Um. Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. <laughs> you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain Slim when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait.
I like this place. Okay, well, hold up. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. First of all, can we talk about Rost? I, that, that, that image is still stuck in my mind. And I got really touched. I got really touched and I got a little bit emotional. I don't know, just because I really like Ross. I really like who Ross was in Aloy's life. And I didn't expect to see Ross. And the, I mean, I didn't expect to see him at all. So being able to see him was a pleasant surprise. And I admit, for a split second, I thought, Wait, did he not die? And then it was Mara, so I'm like, oh, okay, 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 okay. So I was like, just wishful thinking. By the way, can we just talk about how Ross turning into the real life Varl? And <laughs> overanalyzing this, I'm just thinking, Ross is the only one who was ever really in Aloy's life, like present in Aloy's life, you know, being an outcast, essentially a father figure. <laughs> other figures <laughs> and then he dies um, I hope they're not foreshadowing that anything bad is gonna happen to Varl but it could also mean that Varl is replacing Ross in the sense that Varl is that constant companion of Aloy in life who you know it doesn't have to be a love interest because we saw it with Zoe but like Varl is what Varl is just trying to say is that he's here no matter what. He's family. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's kind of, you know, it's so beautiful if you think about it. And maybe Varl also kind of sees Aloy as like, you know, his sister. Because remember in the previous game, in, in Horizon Zero Dawn, his sister died during the proving. So I don't know, maybe he's kind of projecting on her. And he doesn't want to lose Aloy because he already lost his sister. <sighs> okay, that, but that's just me. That's just me overanalyzing the situation. Okay, that's so beautiful though. If you think about it, oh, there it is. But also, I wanna, like, Zoe and Varl. I did not expect that. Kiss, but like, you know, good for you, Varl. Let's, like, I mean, let's go. I kind of thought though, like, with that one particular uh, sequence or nuance that does Aloy like Varl that way? I don't think so. I always just thought a Aloy was more of the work type. Like, you know, like she had to get things done. So she's w she was a lot more focused on that than having a love life. Besides, I never really saw Varl as like a love interest for Aloy. So I guess it's good that he ended up with Zoe or he ends up with Zoe. But I like, oh, you know what, that scene, that, that whole entire sequence where Varl, Ayla, and Zoe were talking to one another, it was so beautiful. Like, the mocap was so done. It was, like, I don't know, it was just so pretty. And you could even see the emotions with the eyes and even with the betas and stuff. Like, Carrie Ann Moss, we saw her. But, like, we don't know what they were. I actually thought Carrie Ann Moss was like playing some sort of AI. But that doesn't seem that way. I mean, with especially with how they were talking. So I kind of wonder what they are. Like, what's their people? But also Silence. I feel like Silence is trying to be a good guy again. So maybe he's not the ultimate bad guy now that I think about it. Especially with the beta people coming out. And also that clone! That clone of Aloy! Or Elizabeth Sobek! We didn't hear her talk, so I'm not sure if she was just a body, uh, you know, proxy, but I want to know more about her as well. Okay, that was a lot. A lot happened in this episode. Mind blown, mind blown. I have to think of how to make a thumbnail and a title that's not going to spoil this for everyone, but that's... Wow. Crazy. <laughs> ah! I can't wait to keep playing this game. I'm excited. Anyway. As always, <laughs> if you guys had fun watching this with me, if you guys had fun rambling with me, if you guys have any theories, leave them in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like this playthrough. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.